my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy and I like to have a good time over here. Today's video is so much fun. Honestly, you guys, I loved almost pretty much everything of this concoction over here. It is a full face of ColourPop Cosmetics. Finally, it has been a long time coming, but we did it. <laughs> I really hope you are excited for this video because I had so much fun just creating this look. Honestly, I'm living for it. But you guys see how I got this look using all ColourPop Cosmetics, then just please keep watching. Alright guys, so getting started, if you missed my ColourPop haul, I will link it up here or down below somewhere for you. But today is going to be finally a full face of ColourPop. Everything from my primer down to my setting spray. The only thing I think I'm actually missing is mascara, but you know, I'm going to put lashes on anyway, so <laughs> that's okay. But I hope you are excited, but let's go ahead and get started. So I will say the foundation looks a little light for me. I may mix just a teeny, 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 tiny of like my tan shade of another foundation, just because it's looking a little light and I don't wanna look too washed out. So I'm just gonna go in with a tiny, little minuscule amount of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation, but this is like my tan shade. So I'm just going to do like a little dot of that to make that work for me. I'm excited. So of course I'm going to start off my base with the primer. I did pick up the All Star Matte and Blur Primer. It's actually really cute. It's like a light pink. It is kind of small and it reminds me of the L'Oreal packaging, the Pro Glow or Pro Matte, both <laughs> actually. But it is super cute. I love the pink. Now it is more of like a... It feels and looks more like a moisturizer. No, it's supposed to blur. I already have glitter on my face. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. I'm just going to push my hair back. Ooh, it smells like really fresh. So definitely do feel like it did already mattify my skin. It does feel a little tacky, which is nice. I don't feel like it did a beautiful job at like concealing my pores or filling them in, but then again, it didn't feel like a silicone primer. But I do feel like my pores don't look as exaggerated as before, so that's good. So of course, I'm gonna go in with the No Filter Foundation. I got mine in the shade Fair 20. I honestly feel like I could have gone up maybe a shade or two because this does look a little light. So like I said, I'm gonna go in with a tiny little dot of the other, my tan foundation, just to give me a little bit more color. Now I'm not gonna be using a brush, like half brush, half sponge, because we already know I hate using a freaking brush for foundation. I don't know what it is. My skin just doesn't like it. It always looks textured and you can see the brush strokes. So I'm just gonna stick to what I like. I'm gonna use the Makeup Shack sponge. This is the best sponge of life. It is $4.99. It's so good. You can use code Christy for 20% off. <laughs> yeah, see if I didn't put in a little bit of that foundation, ooh, it'd probably be looking a little scary. <laughs> So that was one full pump. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more. So I will say it is a more of like a light to medium coverage foundation, especially with a sponge. So I'm gonna go in and see if we can build it up. Ooh, yeah, that actually looks beautiful. So that is with two pumps of the foundation on. I will say it does look more of like a satin to dewy finish on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer and I got the shade Fair 02. Now I don't know how light 
Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that might be a little too light for me. Dang. I'm gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit because this shade is like way, way, well, I don't know. Yeah, the Shape Tape just added a little more warmth. Oh, that's not bad. I definitely feel like this is going to be a foundation I have to set pretty quickly because my eyelids are already creasing like crazy. I mean, it looks pretty. So I'm gonna go into the no filter setting powder and I have mine in translucent. This is the product that I was like saying, it looks tiny. Like, I don't know, compared to like my Laura Mercier and everything, like it looks like a mini version. Maybe that's just how their packaging is. I don't know if I, I know I bought a full size because I don't think there's an option. So I'm just going to shake some out. So I'm just gonna go with a fluffy brush as well. It's a super like light powder, so just be careful. <laughs> Kinda goes everywhere. So up close and personal, the foundation actually looks beautiful. It doesn't look heavy or cakey or weird. I still have glitter on my eyeball. Okay. <laughs> But I do want to say that it does look beautiful. It does look more matte now that I've set it with the powder, which I prefer because I'm combination, so I am kind of normal to dry in the morning and then I get oily through my T-zone throughout the day. I do feel like I'm having a little bit of issue with foundation sticking to my nose, but it's not just this one. It's actually my normal routine lately. I don't know if it's because it's a little bit more dry right now. I don't know what's happening, but I'm not gonna like judge this one on it because it's been doing that to me like every single day for the past week. So I'm just gonna do a few face masks tonight. <laughs> but I honestly like the way that this foundation concealer powder is sitting on the skin. I'm liking the way it's looking. Now I'm gonna go in to the bronzer. I cannot remember the names of everything, but I'll have it all linked down below. That is the only kind of downside to them giving you the pan separately is they come in like a little single pan and you need to pop it into their plastic ones, but then you don't know what the name of it is, unless I pop it out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so this one is Spectacle, but I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Shack T7. And we'll just use this as a bronzer slash contour. <laughs> It definitely is on the light side, so if you're more fair than me, it'll look great on you. If you're like a, even a tad bit darker than me, it's gonna look light. A little too light for you. It does look really pretty on the skin though. 
I don't know how I'm gonna feel about contouring my nose with this color, but I guess we don't have an option. And I'm just going to blend that out. That's what I also forgot. I forgot just a powder. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of the L'Oreal since it's also a drugstore or affordable. Because I always go down the bridge of my nose and then the sides just to correct it. So now for blush, I'm going to go into the Shayla X Color Pop under construction. This one is Whistle While You Work. It's a gorgeous, just like bright pink. I'm only going to use a little bit. <laughs> It is a matte blush, but I don't know how pigmented it is. So, we'll see. It's a nice flush of color. Ooh, I like it. It doesn't look as pink on the skin as I was expecting it to. I'm niche. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit of the powder and then an angled sponge. And I'm gonna use that to clean everything up. And I'm not gonna let it bake, I'm actually going to wipe it away immediately. I just wanted to, again, clean up right underneath. So I'm gonna go in with the setting spray. So this is just the All Star Face Setting Spray. I love this packaging, I think it's so cute. I love the bottle. Now I'm doing this before my highlight because I wanna set all the powders and then the highlight will pop a little bit extra. Oh. Mm. Honestly, my skin looks really, really nice, not even gonna lie. I, if I could ever find like my actual shade for this foundation, I think I would actually really like it. I'm loving the way it's looking so far, so that's good. Now, I love the highlight in Kitty Kitty, or Here Kitty Kitty. That's one of my favorites. This one is Dreamscape. And it looks incredible. Now, of course, I'm going to use my favorite brush. It's the A23 from ABH. Ooh. <laughs> Yum. That looks delicious. Alright guys, so for the face complexion so far, I am loving it. I think it looks beautiful, it looks super smooth. I don't know, it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey or weird. I, mm, okay, I might need to order a few more of the foundations. They are super cheap, so you can't be mad about it. <laughs> but I think I need to go maybe a few shades higher. This was just a little, I like the undertone, but I think it's just a little meh shade or two light for me. So I'm glad I added in just a tiny bit of the deeper shade, but even this highlight, you guys, like look at her. Mm. Okay, brows. I'm nervous. I only always use the Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil and you know my love for that thing. Okay. Also, they're 24 hour brow setter, so I'm kind of nervous to do the, I'm just nervous for brows. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> now I got cool because I just, I cannot stand warm tone pencils on me. I feel like I can see like a red tint to my brows and I never like it. So I'm hoping this one works well for me. All right, pray for me. <gasps> oh my God, this is so dark. <sighs> it's so pigmented. 
So I'm going to use the lightest hand. Ooh, it does really nice brow strokes though. <gasps> I'm actually not mad at this. It might be a little deep for me. Well, I don't know. It matches my roots pretty well. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the brow gel just because I want to see. It says clear, but it's like pure white. <laughs> and I'm really nervous. Oh my God, it's like pure white, you guys. I'm nervous. <laughs> Holy shitsies. It's like glue. <gasps> well, excuse me. It literally acted like a glue. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm living for this brow right now. I will say the pencil is super pigmented. It is a little softer than I'm used to. But it's also beautiful at the same time. Okay, I'm kind of like in shock about the brow gel though. It's literally like a glue, but in the best way possible. It does give you a lot of product though, so I would recommend wiping it off. But it makes your brows not move, but they're also not stiff. <laughs> not even gonna lie, I actually love the shade too. I don't know. Kind of feeling it, kind of feeling it. So now we're gonna go into eyes and just make sure I don't have any creasing or anything. Now I have the uh-oh or uh-huh honey and then orange you glad. I kind of want to do yellow. I haven't done just a all yellow look in a while and I also want to use the pressed glitter in here. So I think that is what I want to do. And I'm gonna start with sweet spot. So I'm just going to go in with a Makeup Shack T33 and I don't know exactly what I want to do yet so I'm just going to put this all, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just going to put this all in the crease. Do y'all see that? It's a gorgeous yellow. I'm gonna go in with the same concealer that we used for the face. I'm gonna use this to do kind of like a half cut crease. I've been doing that a lot lately, but with this, I just feel like I need to. And now I'm going to go into Sunburst. Gosh, that shade is incredible. And now I'm going to go into Palooza. And I'm actually going to put this Starting here. 
and kind of fading it in and out. And now I'm gonna go into island hopping. And I actually want this for like all up in my inner corner. Oh my gosh. And I kind of want it to like fade up and out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go back into sweet spot for the lower lash line. It's actually a super easy look, but it's just pretty. And I do want to bring this out a little bit further than I normally would because of course with the glitter we're already being dramatic, so might as well go a little bit further. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually in love with this right now. Ooh, I love that inner corner. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, so both eyes are finished. I just applied my Dubai lashes and then I did apply the NYX Vivid Bright, the Vivid Halo yellow liner to my lower lashes. I don't know, I was just feeling like some more yellow. <laughs> So that's what happened. Now on to lips. I'm gonna go into the lip liner in another round. And I have three very similar lippies to choose from, but I've been doing super nude lately, so, I mean, this one's closest to this lip liner. I think this one's gonna come off a little too berry. So I'm gonna go into the Ultra Satin Lip. This one's in Echo Park. Alright guys, this is the completed look. This is all ColourPop as much as I had. And I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. Of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this look. What else do you want to see from me from ColourPop? I have to say, I honestly really love how this look turned out. I love the extra glitter on the inner corner. Just feeling a little bit extra tonight, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I hope you did love it too. Other than that, make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss some of the uploads from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!